As far as skin tones go, you can think of the vector scope having these two crosshairs, right? Now the crosshair that goes from yellow to like kind of a cyan blue, that's gonna be your skin tone line. Now again, using that same kind of approach, you can essentially uh, place your skin tones along that line, and that's gonna give you a really good uh, place to start with your skin. Now I typically don't start with a skin tone. I set the look for the overall um, overall feel and, and, and environment, right? Uh, especially considering that skin can change as it comes into di in and out of different lighting conditions. It's really important to set your environment first. If there's anything that you need uh, after the fact to kind of help that skin sing, um, I would typically do that uh, either as a secondary uh, like a hue shift, um, or you can, or you can key the skin as well. Uh, especially if you have a good production designer and you have some good separation between background and the skin. Often you'll see uh, background walls painted uh, like a teal or or a cyan. That's kind of help give that dimensionality and help uh, your actors and actresses pop off of uh, off of that background. Uh, so it's a, always a good choice to, if you can, work with your production designer and director um, super early in pre-production because that can help you uh, get the look that you're achieving um, without even touching the color corrector first. Um, but let's say that you have something like this where the two tones are very similar to each other. In this case, you would need to use um, some sort of hue shift or some sort of uh, curve qualifier. Uh, what I would typically do is start with the hue shift because it's the easiest, you don't have to pull a key, and see if I start to grab, do, am I getting too much of the background? And in this case, I, I can actually get her where I kind of want her to be with a little bit more saturation there, and now she's a little on the yellow side, so we'll swing just a smidge of magenta red back into her. Now the background's coming with it, so if it was something that you really wanted to isolate and we weren't uh, liking what it was doing to the background, you can always use a key. And there's a few different ways of doing this. Um, if we're talking keying, uh, how I tend to approach it is always using uh, not a 3D keyer, but just a simple uh, HSL. Um, start with a pure wide range Luma, and we're just gonna dial it in until I start to see the black encroach into her face, right? So then I'm gonna stop right there and say, okay, that's the max that I wanna go on the shadows, and then we're just gonna start to roll off the highlights. So as you come down on the highs, you start to see it come into your key side there, and we're gonna say, okay, that is where we want to be fading off. Now you don't have to get everything, because that's just gonna be kind of specular. Um, we're gonna be fine with that. So now that we have our Luma range isolated, now we start to add in the other two. So now next would be hue. So now we're just gonna start to pull, what hues do we want, right? Where in her face are we grabbing from? So that's pretty good there. And then lastly is saturation. So by doing that, we're starting to clean up some of that low end low end saturated skin tone colors and pull back the high and add some softness to it. So at this point, we have her roughly uh, isolated from the background, but we have a lot of noise um, on the, the left and right side. So I would use a simple, simple garbage mat, right? And just put a shape just over her face, very, very wide and super soft. Something that we would wanna do now is add a little bit of blur, just to smooth that out. So now we have her pretty much well isolated. So at this point, you can do whatever you'd like. We can give her a little bit more Luma, and then if we wanted to, we could just ride that line, that skin tone line, and give her a little bit more flesh before after, before, after. Now that we have her isolated, we can start to do more than just the skin color. Um, if we wanted to, we could really start to isolate some of this texture and say we don't want the high frequencies and maintaining the low ones. Sure, we want to kind of smooth her out a bit. So again, before, after, before, after.